Well, yesterday I took my first shot of the Pfizer vaccine for COVID. My second shot is scheduled May 5th. I know this is really, really controversial. A lot of people are like, I'm not going to take it. Uh, I'm a person that believes in science. I'm a person that believes that, you know, I'm at high risk. Heart attack 2019. Fortunately, I lost a lot of weight, but why take the chance? You know, because essentially I do know quite a few people who have had COVID and have survived. I have one friend who literally was sick two days and she's been traveling all over the place, going to clubs, been Snapchatting it up. No one's wearing a mask. So I think at the end of the day, you got to decide what's good for you. And I'm taking, like I said, I took the vaccine. I'm going to get the second one. I know there are many people who are um, saying that, hey, I'm not going to take it. If I get sick, I should be fine. I just decided not to take that chance. I decided to go ahead and get myself vaccinated. And I have a feeling that going forward, it's going to come down to where you're going to be vaccinated to travel because uh, I'm gonna give you a simple thing. There are many stores that have it that you can't enter the store unless you have a mask on. So it's not inconceivable that for you to get on a plane, for you to go to another country, you're gonna have to be vaccinated, especially when it's free. It's free. So I, I have a feeling that's coming. Also, I feel that we're going to be roughly back to normal around Christmas time because I think there's like a hundred million people who've been vaccinated. And by Christmas, most of the country, other people who choose to get vaccinated will be vaccinated. And uh, I've been doing some research of people who've been vaccinated who got COVID because you know the vaccination doesn't prevent you from getting COVID, but it keeps COVID from advancing. I don't want to be in a hospital. I don't want to be on the ventilator. Um, when I had my heart attack, and those I spent almost four weeks in the hospital. That was hell. I don't. I don't want to go through that again. So that's one of the reasons I took the vaccine. Uh, I got the Pfizer vaccine, um, and yeah, this is what we're going to be doing because. You know, I know there's a lot of controversy out there. There's a lot of people who are like, I'm not going to do it. There's a great deal of, you know, anti-vaxxers anti and all this other stuff. But at the end of the day, you have to do what you feel is correct for you. And this is one of the things that I feel is correct for me. So this is what I am going to do in terms of protecting myself and making sure that I remain healthy. Because like I said, I don't, I don't, I, don't, I, I have, you know, it, it's like a crap shoot. You don't know if you're going to get it and be asymptomatic or you're going to get it and be sick. You have no clue. So why go ahead and play with the odds when you have a chance to reduce your chance of getting very sick. That's my viewpoint. You know, I, I posted on Facebook. I'm not going to debate, you know, if, you know, it's your body, it's your choice. If you want to be vaccinated or not, that's on you. But um, I want you to actually think about what is going on. Because essentially, I have a feeling that at some point you're going to have to be vaccinated to get on a plane. And there's a lot of people it's like, I'm going to fly, fly private. Okay, fly private. Spend $10,000 for a trip you could have did for a few hundred. Okay, knock yourself out. Um, I feel that there are some people who are like, I'm not getting it. You can't force me to. When enough regulatory guidelines come into place, many of these people will be vaccinated. Many of them will. 
And I, I, I go back to when Kindle first came, came out. There were many hardcore book lovers. I like reading books. Um, how many people, you go to their house, you see a library. You know, it used to be you would go to someone's house and you would see they would have 500, 600,000 books. When's the last time you saw that? People are not doing that. They're, they're reading their books on Kindle. Um, once again, CDs. You used to go to someone's house. They have a CD collection, 400, 500. That ain't happening no more. So even the hardcore, I will not adapt. I'm not going to do that. History has shown us time and time again that eventually you too will move to the dark side. <laughs> you will move to the dark side because uh, I've seen this over and over and over and over again. So yeah, that is what's going on. So I'll talk to you guys later.